Miss Shirley? Yeah. You seen Raj? Not yet. School, aren't you? Yeah, that's right. Oh, cool. <laughs> I see you haven't had the pleasure of meeting me. The name is Freddie Stubbs. My close friends call me Rerun, but you can call me yours. And you can call me a doctor because you make me sick. <laughs> <laughs> she loves me, isn't she? <laughs> hey, Dwayne. Yeah. Where did he get a name like Rerun anyway? Oh, because every summer he got to go back to school to repeat what he did all winter. <laughs> hey, everybody. What's going on? What's up? Hey, Dwayne, Rerun. Hey, what's, what's up, Raj? Oh. Where you been? Window shopping. Tomorrow is my mother's birthday. No kidding? What are you going to buy? I don't know, but I want to get her something really great. Like what? Well, did you see mahogany with Diana Ross? Oh, yeah. yeah. Man, did you see all the stuff she wore in that picture? Those earrings and bracelets and long fur coats. Oh, yeah, man. That'd yeah. be a great idea for a present. Mm. Sure is. A ticket to mahogany. <laughs> Dwayne, he wants to get her one of those fancy things Diana Ross had. Right, I want to get her something really special, you know, like a movie star might have. Get her a maid. She don't need a maid. She is a maid. Please. <laughs> She's a supervisor of domestic maintenance and private residences. <laughs> Sounds like a maid to me. <laughs> How much money you got to buy her a present? Two dollars. <laughs> Rod, you can't get anything good for two dollars. Yes, you can. For two dollars, you can get her a really great frisbee. <laughs> oh, does she have one already? <laughs> Look, maybe if we go down the Borman's department store, we'll find something nice there, huh? Yeah, maybe so. Okay, what you big spenders want? You have a cheeseburger with a lot of onions? Yeah. Good. For a while, I thought that was you. <laughs> I don't think they have anything in this store for two dollars. Well, let's just look around. Okay. Wow. Excuse me. Find anything? No, man. What you doing? Oh, just looking around. Just looking around. Can I help you? Oh, certainly. Go look over there. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. I didn't do nothing. Let me go. There's a party at the office for tomorrow night. She's gonna look good in this. All right. Do you like the blouse? Uh, how much is it? Eight dollars. Eight dollars? Eight dollars. Do you want it? Uh, I just don't like to rush into these things. Oh, well, then, uh, take your time. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Excuse me a minute. I have to talk to my financial advisors. <laughs> what am I going to do? Listen, Raj, I got this dollar. You can have it if you want. Come on, Dwayne. He needs six bucks. That dollar isn't going to help him any. I can use it, though. <laughs> Thanks, Dwayne, but rerun is right. It's not enough. There's only one way I'm going to get that other six dollars. How's that? I'm going to have to get down on my knees and pray for a miracle. Man. Come on, Miracle. Come on, Miracle. I need a six now. Give me two threes, yeah. a five and a one, or a two and a four. Come yeah. on, man. We all can add. Just throw the dice. <laughs> throw them. You don't throw miracle workers. You can just glide them across the floor so that they may roll into a six. Yeah. <laughs> A miracle for me. Hey, man, I don't believe it. Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! You're playing dice. I see that. We know what we're doing. And we don't need 
know Howard Cosell with peanut butter in her mouth to describe the game. <laughs> I love to do it. I'm telling Mama you playing dice. Good, you go do that, because Mama's working across town. Yeah, I'll do that, too. <laughs> <laughs> Baby. Mm. Oh. How come you're home already? Oh, Miss Clemens forgot it was a bridge club this afternoon, and she sure didn't need me there. How come your room is such a mess? How do you know? How do I know that pigs like mud? <laughs> Go clean it. OK. Oh. Should I tell Roger to come downstairs and stop playing dice and say hello? <laughs> Is he upstairs playing dice again? Oh, my. Did I say that? <laughs> oh, no. I heard it from Walter Cronkite. <laughs> How much money you got now, Rod? Six dollars. And when I roll this seven, the blouse is mine. Well, go on, roll your seven so we can get out of here. Oh, <laughs> uh, here it is. This is for Mama's blouse. Hello, seven. Hello, Mrs. Todd. <laughs> uh, 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 wait a second, Mama. Wait a minute. Oh, there they are. I found my cufflinks myself. <laughs> So now I don't have to pay you guys reward money because I found them myself. Uh, is all that money yours? Yes, ma'am. Uh, you want to borrow some? How much you need? A quarter? Here you go. <laughs> Give me all of that dice money right now, Roger. All of it? All of it. Uh, but, Mama... I... And I wouldn't say but if I were you. It might give me an idea, dear. <laughs> I'll just hold this for you right here in my palm. But I need that money, Mama. What on earth for? Uh, what for? Uh, Rerun, we're talking about it. He needs it for, uh, he needs it for, uh, uh, Dwayne give me a plan better than all of us, Miss Tommy. Oh, Miss Tommy. Oh, wow, we need the money for, oh, he needs the money for, um, oh, oh, there's these needy kids in Pennsylvania. <laughs> That's it. I want all of you out of here right now. OK, yes, Mama, bye. Bye, Mama. Huh? <laughs> Las Vegas, you're staying in this weekend. The whole weekend? <laughs> oh, I, I can't, Mama. I, I got to I gotta buy something for, for school. I got to buy something for school. Well, school is not until Monday. And I'll give you your money back on Monday, if but... you behave yourself. Now, I'm going shopping, and I don't want you to step one foot out of this house until I come back. Now, you hear? Needy kids in Pennsylvania. <laughs> I would like to buy this blouse. What size? What size? Boy, I never... Well, is she a small, a, a medium, a large? Keep uh... going. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Here, here you go. Here, here's an extra large. Oh, wait. Let me see. Try it on. How's this? Oh, yeah, that looks good. You got another one for my mama? <laughs> no, that's the last one we have left, but I think she looks good in it. It's not my, it's not my color. <laughs> okay, we'll take it. Would you please wrap it as a gift? All right, that's $8.48. $8.48? It says $8. That's right. <laughs> That's without the tax. With the tax, it's eight forty eight. dollars Well, I don't want the tax. <laughs> you can keep the tax and just sell me the blouse. <laughs> I, I don't care what you want. Do you have $8.48? No, sir, because we didn't think it would be $8.48. Since we thought it would be $8. Then why don't you borrow the 48 cents from your friends? And where would I get the other eight dollars? <laughs> All right. Uh, 
let me ask you a simple question, okay? Do you have any money? Money? <laughs> Who needs money? We are living in the credit era, so I would like to open up an account and charge this. <laughs> you guys, you've had a lot of fun, so why don't you take a walk, okay? Okay, how about letting me work for you? I'll, I'll start now, and I'll work until it's paid well, off. We'll work all weekend. Yeah, all of us we'll, will. we'll clean up the windows and the floors. I told you to take a walk. I've got things to do. Oh, okay. Here's what I'll do. I'll take the blouse, and I'll leave you an IOU. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfectly legal. Just right. I owe you $8.00. And 48 cents. Love. <laughs> Roger Thomas. Yeah. And here's my address and my phone number. That should do it. That's acceptable to me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you guys, if that's how you want to play, uh, stay right here and don't move, all right? Now, look, I wasn't really stealing it. I was just trying to see how it looked in the light. <laughs> Come on, brother. <laughs> okay, at least let them go. They didn't take it. I did. And I left you my IOU. Please? No, Raj, we all in this together. That's right. If one of us is guilty, we're all guilty. And if we're all guilty, we all should be punished. Everybody stay right here. I'm going to get the police. <laughs> Listen, we didn't do anything. And you better let us go home or else we're gonna be in trouble. You are in trouble. <laughs> and so are you, because you haven't read us our rights or let us make our phone call or brought us our meal. <laughs> How about that IOU? That was legal. It had my name, my address, and my phone number. I know. I used it to call your mother. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man, what did you do that for? God. Cousin Millie shoplifting again. I wasn't going to keep it, Bert. I was going to try it on when I got home. And if it didn't like it, I was going to bring it back. Now, come on, Millie. Any other story but that old I was going to try it on at home routine? But I was. Well, what'd she take this time? A toaster. <laughs> Millie, when are you going to stop? Well, you know, I don't mean to keep none of them things I take. You know that, don't you? Yeah, yeah. What'd they catch you with, young fella? A blouse. <laughs> he was only going to try it on. <laughs> Millie, go home and please, please stay out of the store. But you all have such nice selections. <laughs> and you're keeping us. Because she's a lady and we're just teenagers. I bet if I have my blouse on, you let me go. <laughs> Why don't you sit down? Hey, go on, violate my civil rights. Go, go on, hit me, sucker, hit me. Gladly. <laughs> Mama, I didn't steal anything. Shut your mouth. I'm innocent. You believe me, don't you? I want to hear a word out of you. Come on. <laughs> now, what was it he stole? A blouse. A blouse? Oh, yes, I guess it was a blouse. <laughs> so you got yourself a new girlfriend now who makes you steal things, right? Listen, mister. Nobody in my family was ever a thief. Yes, ma'am. And ain't nobody in my family gonna be a thief. I'll pay for the blouse. How much is it? No, no, just, just forget it. Just take your son and his friends home. But next time, next time I'm gonna have to call the police. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Come on here, Dillinger. <laughs> and what are you two waiting for, a private invitation? <laughs> Come on, Capone. <laughs> Something better 
better to do with your time instead of getting in trouble all the time. We didn't do nothing. We just nothing see wrong. Mrs. Thomas. We didn't do nothing. Oh. So they call me downtown for nothing, huh? We just went to the store with Raj to buy that blouse. He was gonna pay for it Monday when you gave him his money back. Well, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this right now. Oh, you're gonna get it, Raj. Why don't you shut your face? <laughs> now, don't you talk to your sister like that. Yeah, don't talk to me like that. Why don't you shut your face? <laughs> Now, who are you buying that blouse for, anyway? Uh, a girl. That's right. Just some, just some girl. A girl, huh? Yes, ma'am. What girl? Uh, uh, just, just some girl. So you just don't intend to tell me the truth, huh? <sighs> OK. Give me that belt. Mama! You can have mine. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that belt. Oh, Mama, you haven't used this belt on me in years. <laughs> you know you're right. <laughs> and I think it's about time you two got reacquainted. <laughs> Stealing some blouse for some girl. Well, that girl is gonna be topless, and you're gonna be bottomless. <laughs> <laughs> now get your butt upstairs. <laughs> and you two go home to your mamas. Yes, Dwayne, Dwayne, come here. We're gonna buy his mama that blouse. And where we gonna get the $8? That dice money is still in that pocket. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, it's stealing. It's not stealing, it's Roger's money. He was gonna buy that blouse with it. We just saving him a trip. Uh-uh, it's in his mama's pocket. She was gonna give him the money back on Monday. We just saving her a weekend. Uh-uh. <laughs> Look, is Roger your friend? Yeah. Am I your friend? Yeah. Don't we let you hang around with us and keep you from getting hurt? Yeah. Well, then, go take that money. Uh-uh. <laughs> I know. We'll both take that money. I'm gonna really lay it on you. Oh, man, come on, forget about that. Look what we got here, man. Look what we got. What's that? It's that blouse you wanted to get your yeah. mama. Oh, man. It's not hot, is it? Just not hot. We paid for it. That's right. Paid for it? Where'd you get the money? Huh? <laughs> Where did you get the money? Oh, rerun borrowed it from his brothers. Since when did they become so generous? <laughs> Those are the two meanest cats I know. I told him it was for your mother. Uh -huh. You know, there are certain words that get to them, like mother, apple pie, probation officer. <laughs> I thought I heard you two criminals in here. I thought... Happy birthday, mama. <laughs> what is this anyway? It's your birthday yeah. present, mama. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, your present. Come on, it's your birthday. Come on, come on, your present. Yeah. Open it. Uh-uh. <laughs> What's the matter? You don't like it, Mama? Oh, I love it. <laughs> you gonna wear it to the party? I didn't know they had parties in prison. <laughs> it's not stolen, Mrs. Thomas. It's paid for. And here's the sales slip. Don't show, oh, show her how much. Give me that. Please. <laughs> $8.48. <laughs> Hey. Happy birthday, Mama. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Happy birthday to you, Mama. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> oh, isn't that wonderful? What can I say? I was that girl all the time. And you bought this for me? Yep. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh. Where'd you get the money? Rerun borrowed it from his brothers, and I promised to pay him on Monday. Is that right, right. Rerun? You got it. That's right. Well, no sense waiting till Monday. I got the money in my pocket downstairs, and I can give it to you right now. Uh-uh. <laughs> But I can't let you do that. I'm going to give you your brother's money back right now. Come on. I'm sure you're glad you oh. like the blouse. Huh? <laughs> 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 All right, then, wait till the party, aren't you? Oh, I sure am. <laughs> I just wish you didn't know how much it cost. Oh, that's all right, honey. But you're not supposed to know how much a birthday present oh, costs. Don't worry about it. Oh. Now, where you two guys going? <laughs> Come on in here. <laughs> Mrs. Thomas, my brothers don't need that money back. It'll teach them a lesson. A lesson? What lesson? Never trust a fat brother. <laughs> What's the matter with you, Rerun? Take the money. <laughs> I think he's taking your advice already, Rock. <laughs> Good day, gentlemen. You mean we can go? Mm-hmm. Goodbye, Miss Thomas. Happy birthday, Miss Thomas. Goodbye. Goodbye. See y'all tomorrow. So they took the money out of your pocket, didn't they? Yes, they did. <laughs> <laughs> but you know. I'm not mad at him. No? Mm-mm. And you know something else? I don't know why I can't stay mad at you. Because I'm really a wonderful person. <laughs> <laughs> Mama? Yeah, baby. I can't breathe. <laughs>